uploading on the days that I said I was going to. So I actually decided that um, I'm gonna do a get ready with me and I have a bunch of your questions right here. We are going to do a little get ready with me. I'm literally going straight home to feed my dogs and eat dinner, watch some trash TV and go to bed. So I might take a sh picture in front of my office with this shirt because I freaking love this shirt. I will also link this for you in the description box. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Fine Feathered Palette. I also am starting with foundation on and I don't know if you can tell, but there's two different foundations on either side of my face. And because I'm not really going anywhere and I might just take a photo, we're gonna let it slide. I did do some testing of old foundations that just got way too thick on me. And I tested four old ones that I haven't used for years. And I tried those on my mature skin. So if you wanna see that video, <laughs> it's definitely a shocker. I only have like, I'm gonna use this guy. I only have like the tiniest little freaking hand mirror right now too. So that's gonna be fun. So questions. Yeah, what does it get ready with me? Hi, Anthony, my dear, dear friend that I've had for like, 10 years. I actually met Anthony at Mud Makeup School when I used to model there for the students. He's always with me. Hardest part about owning a business and the biggest tip. My biggest business tip, no matter if you own, why am I way on that side? <laughs> no matter if you own a big business or a small business, chances are if you own a large business, you've already figured this one out. Don't try and take too much on all by yourself, you are gonna spread yourself way too thin and it's going to cause you a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety and you might have a heart attack by the time you're 30. And that kind of plays into the hardest part about owning a business is that you are pretty much working all the time. You have the ability to manage your schedule how you please and you can you know, move things around to accommodate different things that you wanna do. But the truth is there's so much more, you know, like my title at Arctic Fox is co-founder and CCO. I do so much more than a CCO. I manage customer service. If there's a customer service question that comes in that my team doesn't really know how to handle, I help write the FAQ. I change the web banners a lot of times when there's a sale, I get up at 6 a.m. and I put a new web banner up. I have photographed, photoshopped many of the emails that you guys have received from Arctic Fox. Yeah, I would say that is a really difficult part to owning a business is that there are so many moving parts and any at any given time you might be managing a lot of them yourself. But sometimes that's just how it is running a small business. You don't necessarily always have the money to just go out and hire someone that you need. Partner with business partners that are good at things that you're not good at so that you know you can pass off some of the responsibility. Most people can leave their job and not think about it. Like on the weekends, you know, you can enjoy your weekend or your party or your 4th of July or like whatever it is that you're doing, you can go and enjoy that. But when you own a business, you're, you're in the trenches. If something goes, you know, to shit, you're dealing with it. If, you know, an employee is out of the office and so they can't change the web banner, you're doing it. When will your hair mist? Uh, she's talking about our hair perfume OG at Arctic Fox be expanding more to more places that it's sold at. We are currently working on expanding our hair care category. And I think once we do a bit more of that, there will be more retail locations that are wanting to carry it. They also listen to you guys. So if you wanna see a product at more retail locations, definitely tag the retailer on social media and let them know that. And you can also just tell, you know, the people in store as well. By the way, I don't know why I haven't talked about this yet. I like almost forgot about it, but I'm actually starting a podcast with a couple girls that I'm friends with and they also do my hair and I'm very excited for it because we are like in three totally separate walks of life. My friend Brooklyn, she, you've probably seen me tag her and Jenna on my Instagram. Um, Brooklyn is pregnant. She is about to pop any day now. This is her first child. I just had a miscarriage, which we all know. And then Jenna has like kids going off to college and she's only like 40, I think. She looks freaking amazing, you will see. But I'm thinking I might upload the podcasts to this channel or start a separate one. I have to see what they're good with, but let me know what you guys think if you guys are excited to see that. I think we decided to call it, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> okay, next question. 
worst hookup or sexual encounter that you've had? You guys are taking me to a really dark place right now. <laughs> well, I was, uh, there's a couple here. One's kind of funny and one's more serious and I don't know if I've ever actually talked about this. Um, so we'll go with the more serious one first and end with the like kind of silly or funny one. I'm gonna add a little bit of powder under my eyes. So I have a video on this channel. Uh, it's probably pretty deep buried now. I have a video on this channel talking about an abusive relationship that I used to be in when I was about 17. And that person was an alcoholic. And one night he came home and um, he was drunk and he basically forced me to have sex with him. And I was crying the entire time and he didn't stop. And I just remember rolling over and staring at the wall and just being like, what the f just happened and why am I in this relationship? So that video is kind of all about how I got out of that relationship. And you know, I've never talked about that before. It's actually, the very first time I've ever mentioned it, I think, on this channel at all. And it's a really sad, you know, situation, and those sort of situations affect everyone a little bit differently. It wasn't a good time for me, and it definitely was not a good moment, and I don't wish that upon anyone. And then there is a another one. <laughs> okay, there's two. All right, this is like R-rated, so if you are underage, please leave now. So I was hooking up with this guy in a mall parking lot. I don't really remember how old I was. I I was young, I don't even think, I don't even, I don't know if I was even 18, maybe I was 18. And we had the windows up and we were going at it, like just, you know, hooking up, we were making out. And um, he actually, uh, totally jizzed his pants before we even got it out of his pants. And I thought that was pretty <clears throat> sad. <laughs> In his defense, he was young, but like he wasn't like freaking 16 years old. So I don't know what the deal was, but that was kind of funny. And then another one that I think is pretty funny. I was hooking up with this guy and it was kind of more of like a kind of a one night stand situation and I didn't, so I, I, I had never like copped any feels. This was like the first time I was seeing it when he pulled it out. I started to go down on him and it was so little that it didn't even come out the top of my hand. And I have to tell you that it's way easier in a lot of regard, in a lot of like, a lot of respects to give a, I'm just gonna say BJ cause I don't wanna be so gross on YouTube, but um, it's so much easier to, give oral sex when it is small, but it's definitely not more fun in any other way, shape or form, unless you were just getting it in the, you know, but okay, anyway, I feel so dirty. <laughs> your favorite hair color on, your, on yourself that you've done. That's a hard one. You know what? I have to say probably the light blue that I did. I really liked that. And I also really liked that like light periwinkle purple that I did. I'm gonna be using the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. It is a palette for contouring. Someone said, um, will you be getting lip fillers again? If you are a little late to the party, you'll probably notice that my lips are very small right now. I actually have been getting lip fillers for quite a, I keep forgetting I don't have a mirror sitting in front of me. Um, I've been getting lip fillers for quite a, a, a long time. They started to just Dis like disappear, but they were going up into my lip basically to give you a little background. They just, this like sharp M shape that I can't stand about my lips just got worse and worse and worse. I met up with someone out in Ladera Ranch and she was like, yeah, so a lot of people don't really know how to do your shape of lips. And she's like, it's actually like my specialty. And so she said, I can do it, but she books up super fast. So she dissolved my lip filler. So I do plan on getting more lip filler. I'm going to have her do it. And I, ha I feel bad for her because I have very high hopes because of what she was telling me about how she knows how to fill them and how you have to fill them a certain way or else it'll just like migrate. So I'm actually getting them done next week. I will have to let you guys know how it goes. Yes, I'm getting them done again. I'm gonna use the Tarte, uh, a lot of Tarte stuff today, huh? Um, I'm gonna use the Tarte blush called Exposed because this is the only one that I brought over here. Someone said, have you tried tracking your ovulation through temperature checks? Might be helpful. 
So in my miscarriage video, at the very end of the video, I sh where the hell did that, oh, here it is. I, um, at the very end of the video, I showed you guys some very affordable products that I've been using for pregnancy tests as well as to figure out when I'm ovulating. And I'll show you what it looks like in a second now that I've actually done some pee strips and it has figured out my ovulation. You can also measure your temperature within the app, but I don't do that. Um, I have been just going based off of my like levels. I don't know what they're called. It's called pre-mom and I'll link you guys to these products. They're just these little pee strips. This is what the home screen looks like. And then if you go to tests, these are all the tests that I've done. And when you can see, you can see up here how it says peak. You have to do this. You have to do like a few tests before you, it can figure out exactly what your like high levels look like. I think it's your H. CG levels. Um, I've been uh, looking at it through that. So I haven't been doing the temperature checks, but I've definitely been keeping track of it. And we'll see. I think we are thinking about getting pregnant again in August, but honestly, if it happens right now, it happens. Like I'm not like trying, but I'm like not trying. Same, same, same as before. Because you know what? It could take me a while to get pregnant. I don't know. So we'll see. Um, okay, so this is the Becca uh, Opal um, highlight. I don't really want, uh, yeah. I actually, this is one of my favorite highlights of all time. Like just, can we just, oh yeah. Will you show the process of your reno in California and are you moving back full time? I will show you guys the reno. I'm actually, I've been filming a little bit here and there, which reminds me I need to film a little bit when I get home because I haven't filmed in a few days. Yes, I am filming it and I am still splitting my time between Nashville. Um, it may turn out that I'm in California more, especially when I'm pregnant. We'll see how it goes. As of now, my animals are in California, but I'm splitting my time between Nashville and here. I'll be back in Nashville in a couple weeks, a couple weeks, I mean like a month or so. It's been really nice though, because I've been able to have friends and family like allow them to stay in my house there, which is great. What would be your dream pet to care for? A sloth? I have not done an eye look like this in a coon's age. What does that mean? Do raccoons live a really long time? Like what's the deal with that? Coon is a shortened form of raccoon. Although a wild raccoon survives only two or three years on average, the phrase coon's age arose from a, a mistaken belief that these animals can live a long time. What the hell? I never do my eyebrows on camera, but I'm gonna do those first. I did find some random mascara that in my boxes and I'm gonna try it. And we'll be cutting our eyelashes with this today because I don't know where any scissors are. <laughs> my favorite eyebrow products for the past like year now have been the Urban Decay Brow Blade and I like to use different shades because I like a little bit of dimension. I meant to buy more of this when I was at Ulta. Someone said, what is one pet you've never owned but would like to? Mine is a tarantula and there's a little spider emoji that's so funny, like my eyes for some reason, like that spider emoji just moved and it just creeped me the hell out. I have never owned a tortoise and I would really like to own a tortoise. I have also never owned a pig and I would like to own a pig and chickens. I can't wait to own a tortoise. I actually reached out to, there's a tortoise rescue here in San Diego. We are building garden beds right now on the side of the house and I've been um, planting and growing like little seeds so I can transplant them when we're ready. I am so excited to have a garden. I have a bunch of other animals you guys know that need fresh fruits and veggies on the daily. So I'm excited to have those two. We definitely need to just get set up properly to be able to have a tortoise. Like they need a house with like a little warming area and all sorts of stuff like that, especially during winter. Are you planning on leaving Tennessee? Um, I kind of already did, but again, I'm splitting my time. So we'll just see what happens. I still and will always have a Tennessee driver's license. I don't think I'll ever trade that back in. Depending on how things go in the next few years, I think I might actually rent my house out in Nashville. Nick and I kind of want to get a bigger house on more property. Maybe not a bigger house, actually. I shouldn't say that. I just mean more property out in Franklin. Let us try this mascara. This is LA Girl Jet Setter Mascara. How's the remodel coming along? 
The remodel is coming along well. It is, it's really hard to live in a house without a kitchen. It is kind of crazy. Like I knew it was gonna be hard, but like we're washing dishes in the laundry room and in the motor home. And then like half the stuff is in the house, half the stuff is in the garage, half the stuff is, you know, in the motor home. Someone said, are you coming, will you be coming out with other hair mists? We will. I'm actually working on a an aerosol dry shampoo that I've been working on with Ryan for like a year. It needs to be right. And we also are working on, I would like to do some different hair perfumes that don't smell like our color, like just that just smell good. I don't know, like some people don't like that grape scent, you know, and I get that, that's okay. You don't have to like the grape scent. You should embrace it, but you don't have to love it. You know what I mean? And then, I also am working on uh, some heat protectants and things like that, because when you bleach your hair, that sh needs to be protected. What is your most memorable or life-changing moment? I have had several life-changing moments. Uh, I think every time you realize something or you have an epiphany, you have a life-changing moment. Um, I mean, I would say a life-changing moment for me recently was meeting Nick. That has been life-changing. Getting to know him and loving the man that he is has just been like completely life-changing and memorable. A very memorable time for me was going to Bora Bora. I absolutely love Bora Bora. Um, there's been very memorable moments. I, my 30th birthday was like insane. Like I threw like the raddest party and it was so awesome. Life-changing moments, um, when I read The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, that book, I had an epiphany. I still haven't actually finished it. I don't know why I haven't finished it, but I read most of it. And that book is so life-changing. I'm finished with my makeup. Thank you guys so much for sitting down with me and asking me questions. And I really appreciate the time you took to write those in there. And I'm excited to film more videos in here and I'm excited to actually color my hair. It's been a while. I think I'm gonna do some sort of rainbow situation. So hold tight for that. Um, I will get it done. I know I said I was gonna do it a while ago, but we will get it done. Um, I will also leave for you in the comments below everything that I used today, as well as the foundation I have on my face. Um, and I will link the video for you about the foundations too, if you wanna see that. But thanks for watching guys, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.